Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I'm going to go through my favorite shortcuts in Photoshop. This is going to be a small list of about five or six, and I think they're really going to uh, excite you because they're really cool and really useful. All right, the first one, which I think is a great time saver, and I'm using the Artist Pad over here, and Key Press OSD is going to display the shortcuts for us. So I'm going to tap right here and drag, and this is going to open up the HUD Color Picker. So if I'm drawing, and I want to rapidly switch between colors, using this keyboard shortcut, again, that keyboard shortcut is alt shift plus right click allows you to very, very quickly pick new colors. All right, so that's number one. Uh, number two, we're going to do a resize of the brush. This is alt control right click. Now I'm, again, because I'm using this over here, I need to pull my pen away from the screen a little bit. I can drag up and down, and this is going to change the diameter of the brush. And if I want to change opacity, I can go up and down. Now this, and you can see here, it's just, you can see the opacity changing, uh, which is really cool. Now that is not a default shortcut, so you have to actually adjust a setting in Photoshop uh, in order to get it to do opacity instead of hardness. All right, the next shortcut is using space, as we know, to pan, but control space to zoom in and out. Now I think pinch to zoom is really nice. Panning is really nice, but really what I like to do is I like to keep my palm on the screen the whole time and move my hand from center as few times as possible. So being able to zoom in and pan without lifting my, my palm from the screen is actually really important to me. All right, so our next keyboard shortcut. I think this one's really cool and it's a new addition to Photoshop 2020. Let's go ahead and adjust the size of the brush down and we're going to draw. Let's jump that back up to 99% and now we're going to erase with the same brush that we were just using. All right, that's really cool. It's a new addition and one that I'm, I'm rather fond of. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We're gonna go into Photoshop, alt click. All right. All right, and I'm using I'm using the pen tool. Uh, the pen tool is uh, something that you can get in the Windows Store, and I've mapped this to Alt Hover Left Click. Oops. One of the things I don't like about uh, actually putting the pen tip on the screen to color pick is occasionally you get, um, you occasionally accidentally draw. And I don't like that. I think it's slow. Um, this way is really, really fast. Not perfect. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. You may have to press the button for slightly longer to get to activate sometimes. But it's really useful and really, really fast. All right, the next keyboard shortcuts that I wanna show is for um, multiply, normal, and screen. These icons um, I picked because I think they're funny, but they, they make sense. Multiply is calculator, normal is like a normal person, and screen is a tablet screen. Okay, so what does that look like? Alt-Shift-M for multiply. Normal is going to bring us back to our normal, and screen, of course, will make everything brighter. Combining that with our opacity shortcuts, we can get some really nice uh, blending and effects really easily, and I think this is great. All right, normal, 9-9, nine, nine, and we're back to where we started. All right, you guys, that's it for this very quick uh, tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please subscribe and like the video and share it with your friends. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.